guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. And I have a big Dollar Tree haul, so we're gonna try to go through this quickly. I also have some kitties. Oh, he, we're looking outside because the FedEx man is delivering next door. Uh, this is Mr. Wellington. He's my senior cat. I think he's 14. What you doing? Oh, he's eating plastic. Let's not do that, sir. We don't need plastic. All right, so let's get into it because I have a lot of stuff to show you, and this is in no particular order whatsoever. Every once in a while, my store gets these rugs. They're calling them accent rugs. It's honestly just unbound cut carpet. I happen to use them by my back door. Um, I put the cat water on it, and one of them, Wellington, throws up sometimes, so I like to catch and with that, but it does need to be vacuumed, so, and it matches, it's just beige carpet, but you know what, when it's gross and gets yucky, I don't feel bad throwing it away. Now he's licking a plastic bag. Sir, we don't lick plastic. Who has to say these things? We don't lick plastic. I don't know. All right, I found some really pretty ribbon. This is a navy blue with a silver down the center, and actually I'm using, I'm using this here soon. That's why I picked it up because I am on a girl. You don't need any more ribbon kick. Like I need to stop buying it, but I didn't have any navy blue. Um, I'm trying to like at least put things a little bit together and I'm sitting on something. I found these today at my store and they're just tea lights with poinsettias on top. And trust me, this is the only real point. Well, it's not even real, but this is pretty much the only poinsettia coming into my house uh, because they are poisonous. Here's the other ones. This package, they were all open, and this one is clear. They weren't open like, oh, somebody was testing them all out. The packaging stinks. Um, I don't know, I have to get some tweezers to get that little tab out. But, and it does red, and I'm assuming the red does white. But isn't that pretty? I just thought it was fun to sit it out, you know, on Christmas on a table or something, or in one of my tea light holders that I love, but it's got that poinsettia shape. So I grabbed them in the white or clear, and these are red. Uh, that's the first I've seen those at my store, and I, I hit my normal stores pretty frequently, like my regular stores. I found this sign. I don't know what is more appropriate in my life, but this sign. And it says coffee because adulting is hard. And this is straight up going on my coffee bar after Christmas. Um, it has a hanger on the back. I will put a, I usually just put a push pin and I will hang that next to my coffee maker. Because this is true. It says so. And that's my life. Um, pretty much. Ooh, I found these pens again. I got these last year. And I absolutely love them. It's silver gold, red, orange, purple, pink, blue, and green. And they're kind of glittery. I love these pens. They write really well. There's not a whole ton of ink, but they write well. And I love putting them in my journal, my planner, my calendar. You know, I just like writing in color. So I grabbed those when I saw them. I was very excited that they came back for this year. I don't know what that is. Oh, I did find some bags. So my stores, now that they're running out of Christmas decor, are filling the walls with bags, which excites me. So I found this one, which I absolutely love. And it just says candy cane, Santa's favorite treat. And it just has some peppermints on the side, but I love this retro feel and I love it. Now, these two bags might be the inspiration for next year. I don't know. Guys, I'm loving it. What? So, I will show you. I want to make it so you can see. With the, and the tags. I love that the tags match. But look at. Look at these bags. Winter Wonderland and that little pink truck with the uh, Santa on top and they're not. This side has some metallic to it and then it's just the um, shiplap on the side. I love it. 
have to do my thumbnail. And then this one with the pink, it's very fun Christmas colors and I'm kind of obsessed. Look at the striping. Something is gonna happen in these colors next year. I don't know what, probably not my whole house. I mean, I would have to literally shop for everything new because I don't have anything in those colors. Maybe my bedroom or the dining room, maybe my kitchen. I don't know, I have a whole year to think about it, right? Um, I did pick up two bottles of the Martinelli's Sparkling Cider. This is grape and this is apple uh, for a little celebratory. You'll see I have other stuff here. This is not for New Year's. Um, it's for, um, we're putting together some inauguration boxes for celebration, like socially distanced with my family, some members. So I grabbed those for the non champagne drinkers among us. Um, I cannot have that because it has too much sugar, but um, let me wrap them back up so they don't get broken. Um, the younger people can. So I have that next bag. I grab some of these in the party section. I think they're great. And if you're having a New Year's Eve party or any type of celebration, really, these would be fantastic to fill with um, treats. I mean, you could do popcorn. I don't know that that would hold enough popcorn, but definitely party favors, party treats, some kind of snacks chips maybe i mean i guess a good whole popcorn but look at how adorable that is and it's very sturdy i mean it's a hard card stock but you could fill these with lots of things i just thought they were super fun so i grabbed them in the stripe oh if you're doing like a little kid's birthday that would be perfect for like popcorn for the little ones you know I'm just trying to clean it back up. So I got the chevron and the stripe in the navy blue. And then also for our celebratory box, I got these champagne flutes. They're really hard plastic. And I'm going to do some cricket on them. So I got six of those to go with the party pack. I found these colors, which I really like a lot. Don't look at my nails, they're chipping. And I don't know why we're chipping, I just painted them, but I don't know. They were for Christmas. And then I ripped that one off, and that still hurts. But I love these colors. There's like a tealy blue, uh, purple, and a light purple. I just think they're fun. Probably do my toes later, I haven't done them in a while. I found these and I should have grabbed two. But they're fun. Look at those little rocks. These are great. If you have succulents, like I need to transplant some, you can put these decorative rocks on top. And they're just small enough. You know, I wouldn't need to buy a whole bunch. And if you rinse them off, the colors are a little more vibrant. So I have, I grabbed those and I should have grabbed a second one. I have a fair amount of plants, but that's okay. I mean, whatever I have, I have. I grabbed another pack of these. I literally use these for everything in my life. All my packaging gets shred up with these. I even have one on my toothpaste to like, I roll it and clip it with one of these. So I needed some more. They're great. I love them. Chip clips, anything, any packaging. I keep one on my coffee when it's in the freezer. And then I just got some AAA batteries. These are not the best batteries. I just needed some short term. I need to go buy more. I actually have rechargeable batteries. The only frustration I have is they die pretty quickly, but they recharge, so I don't know. When I put them in my remote. So there's that. I found these. Now, I don't typically buy the knockoff scents, but I am super curious because, and look at that one, it's, half, it's like half full. This is supposed to be Chanel number no. five. And this is supposed to be a nay, a nay, both of which I like. I have purchased in the past. Um, I'm actually out of the a nay, a nay, but I love it. It's a very, like, 80s scent. And I will say, I'm trying to roll it on. It's not rolling. It's not rolling. There we go. 
that is a pretty fair dupe. Is it exact? No. Is it a fair dupe? Yes. Will I enjoy it? Absolutely. I mean, it's just fun. And it has a little hand lotion, which I wouldn't use right now because my hands are so dry. And then my poor Chanel is half gone. I actually use Chanel Mademoiselle. I mean, the notes are there. Isn't it exact dupe? Again, no. But it's good. It's not offensive at all. So I'm kind of excited. I love like... You know, just throw on some perfume every morning. So that'll be fun. I would totally use those. Mm, like I said, it's definitely not an exact dupe, but it's in the same scent family. Uh, while I'm doing some makeup, I found and I opened to show you the Wet n Wild. This lipstick that I'm wearing now is... Um, charred cherry and it's a matte and i like it and then this one here is a lip wand and liner so down here you have a lip liner and then the matching lipstick and this is like a pink these are colors i definitely wear a uh, very muted or i guess they're not muted they're pigmented but uh, pinks and red like not red I don't know. I don't know anything. Don't ask me. Anyway, I found them. I like them. They're a dollar. Right? That's how we roll. I My phone rang. I found socks. These are for boy, child, nephew. Actually, this is for a gnome, I lie. I want to make a gnome hat out of these. So I grabbed these. These are nice, too. They're actually, they feel very nice. Dollar Tree brand. Um, he's a bowler on the bowling team at school. So I grabbed him those for his stocking because I think that'll be so fun. And then he likes these low-cut socks. So I grabbed a two-pack. He, The kid has plenty. This is not, I just thought he might enjoy some extra socks. You know, stocking. He's 15. I got him a gift card and food. <laughs> I got him a bunch of food, um, but I thought I would throw these in his little stocking bag. And these, I want to make a gnome. I love me some Argyle. Okay. Whew, guys, I'm trying to move quickly here. I have blue hats. Again, that's part of our party box. These are nice hats. I would put it on, but my hair is done. They are adjustable in the back. The brand is Anvil. They're nice. They have, I like that they have the curve. They feel soft. We're gonna iron on them. So I got six of them. For a dollar, you, you cannot beat this. They had them in white, in a khaki, and this navy. And I grabbed the navy. My store had a ton. Then I got four packages. <laughs> I'm gonna split them up. But I have four packages of these, just party beads. These would be good, again, for New Year's. You could use them, save them up for 4th of July. If you have an inauguration party, you too could have red, white, and blue beads. And it's not, these are not Dollar Tree brand. These are Horizon Group, made in China, like everything else. Um, so yes, I grabbed six pack or four packs and I'm going to divide them up amongst six people. So we'll all have red, white, and blue necklaces. And this is socially distant. Everybody's going to be at their own house. Um, more stuff. Ooh, empty bags. I keep the empty bags to clean my fireplace like you do. I finally found one of these. I've been looking for one of these little mugs. So I finally found them. I saw at, I had purchased this earlier in the season, but I saw at Michael's, they had a Santa decor in a mug. And I thought this was adorable. And for bulbs, I bought these parties of glitter vase filler. And they have all different sizes in there, like little tiny ones. And I'm going to use those and glue them inside of the Santa, or inside of the tree on top of the Santa, 
to make it. And it'll be almost an exact dupe. So I'm excited about that. Hot glue and that, done. Three bucks instead of eight or whatever it costs. It's kind of going back to that retro feel that I'm really digging this year. Okay, everybody breathe. I found, I don't know what this is, we're gonna open it. Moj, Moj, Moj. So soft, so cute, blind bag. I love it. I don't have any little people to give it to, or I would, so we're just gonna open it up ourselves. And it comes with that. Oh, I don't know if we're gonna like these. Oh, I'm not opening them up yet. They're gooey. Uh, uh. They're like little gooey, sticky dog and something. Oh, oh, a hedgehog, a hedgehog and a dog. How cute. I mean, that is a perfect stocking stuffer for any person that is into that, you know, little things. Um, I grabbed this one for me. This is a five minute, this is a deep moisture. My hair does get dry. So I have a deep moisture mask. And then I found two of these containers. I was actually looking for the things you stuff, but I haven't seen them. And I didn't see them on the website either, but I did see somebody haul them. So I need to look around the website because I'll buy a case of 12 or 24 of them. Um, if they're big enough, that's good storage for craft stuff, speaking of. So I picked this up. I like the ones with the lids because they stack. And then I can just label, you know, on here what is being stored. Um, and I love the design. And I saw these in a couple colors, but you really have to grab them when you see them. Stuff like this really goes fast. Especially this time of year, you know, January, everybody's looking at, um, you know, cleaning their houses and storage and organizational stuff. You know, I'm going to clean up some of this little bit of mess over here. So I know what has to go upstairs, right? And what doesn't have to go upstairs. Because my life could be a mess, guys. Okay. More empty bags. Over here, what did I get? Oh, I picked up one more of the waters. I threw the one that I had away. So I picked up one more of the waters for the cats. Um... I have one downstairs, I'm gonna put one upstairs. And for a dollar, I mean, even if I don't use it right now, you can't beat that price. Okay. Ooh, I hit the jackpot. I mean, I say I hit the jackpot, but um, these are for the little fellow that's gonna be at the lunch I'm going to today. Just some Paw Patrol, some sticker, or uh, temporary tattoos. We're going back to the zoo to see the lights because it's outdoors and it's not bad weather tonight. It's something I can do. So I grab some of these. They don't really last long, but they're, they light up and I'm gonna wear them at the zoo. So nobody gets, loses me. I don't wanna get lost, right? I found also for the boy child, some ax. Uh, it's for face and body soap. Smells good too. So I got him some Axe soap for his bathroom. And then I found these Freeman brand, which, you know, Freeman is a, a, a brand. And this is a clay um, cleansing mask. So I grabbed two of these, one for myself and one for the stocking for the niece. But I love the packaging too. And you get one, you know, clay mask to clean your face, do all that. These are my favorite pens of all time at the Dollar Tree for like journaling. Again, this is black ink. They're both black ink. And I saw them today in blue ink, which I had not seen, but I prefer black ink. When I'm working in my calendar and stuff for the year, I just prefer black ink. And I was, my other pen ran out. I found, oh, this, perfect. I love these. Um, file, buff, get the ridges out. I love these. I use them all the time and mine was kind of a mess. So I grabbed the new one. 
they don't last a long time but again they're a dollar so i don't expect them to but i really enjoy them when i'm doing my manicures i found these i picked up a couple one for uh, my niece and my nephew to have because i think they it's important and these are the safe and healthy disinfecting uv light kills 99.9 percent .9 of harmful viruses germs and bacteria uh, viruses, germs, bacteria, E. coli, and more. And you just shine the UV light. You obviously don't look at it in your face, but you shine it on all these surfaces. And somebody said they were selling them at Walmart and grocery store for $20 for this. What? I just got it at the Dollar Tree. So I grabbed a couple. I actually have one from my work. They sent me to put my phone in and it's a charger, but... I grabbed one of these two for the car. So I thought, you know, I'm in and out of store sometimes. So I got a couple as like stocking stuffer type things. Um, but again, we're in 2020, so nothing is, nothing is out of the ordinary around here, gift wise, right? Okay, we're down to the last two bags. I told you this was a big one. I found these boxes that look like tin signs. I'm so, look at this one, it looks like it's rusted. Yeah, these are gonna be used for signs next year. These are not gonna be used for boxes. I think I'm gonna cut the lids off and attach them to maybe some foam core board and make them look a little rougher and make signs out of them, something. They're gonna become signs because I love them and that's what they look like to me. So I grabbed a box of those. Those aren't even going putting, I'm not even putting them away with my Christmas stuff. I found, and I'm super excited, these, the box of just wooden pieces. Look at all the hearts. I'm super excited for all the little hearts. Oh, wait. For all the little hearts and just the little pieces of wood. So I grabbed two, and I will probably fill this, one of those, with just little wooden cutout pieces to craft with because... What? How fun is that? I didn't think I would find these, but I did. So that's exciting. So I grabbed two. There was tons at my store that I was at. And for crafting purposes, you know. This is a stocking. For, it's a gift, part of a gift for a friend or my cousin, actually. And they're just antibacterial wipes. She works outside of the house. And these are anti-bac. So those are going in her present. I'll stick them under the tree behind me because that's where they're going. Um, when I was there, the lovely young lady at the store was stocking the Bolero, a whole end cap of Bolero and these um, Spa Life high, different masks and stuff. So I got this one, which is goat's milk and Mediterranean olive oil, and it's a moisture face mask. And you get three in here, three masks for a dollar. And they're just moisturizing masks. So if you're putting together any kind of gift basket or stuff, stuff, uh, stockings, girls, get it together. These are great. Um, and you can open them up, you know, but this is, I'm excited to try these. Again, I have really dry skin and hair. So I'm all about the moisturizing life. I am not about the detoxing and all of that. I just feel like I'm too dry for detox. <laughs> and then this one is bee venom and shea butter and manuka honey. So bee venom, shea butter, and manuka honey hydrating facial mask. And this one, you get six of them. What? Six hydrating masks for one dollar. Like what in the Hades? I... I had no idea. I was like, are you kidding me? I probably should have grabbed 12 of them, but I don't need 12. I need six. So, um, I grabbed both of those. So really I have nine moisture masks for $2. I mean, I use moisturizer every day, but I'm excited. I might try this tonight. So I grabbed that. They also had some mint and eucalyptus foot scrub. Let's see if I can smell it. This is for me. I don't know. Is it offensive to give somebody foot scrub for a gift? Because I have. I mean, I didn't give him a foot scrub, but I gave him some like heel cream and those aloe vera socks. Last year, we all got it. My sister-in-law, my niece, and I, and it was fantastic. 
Mm, that smells good. Mm, I bet you it's got a cooling, tingling feeling too with the peppermint oil. But it's, um, you know, it's a peppermint and eucalyptus foot scrub. I'm assuming that there's a little bit of a grit to it, but it's time. It's winter, ladies. Let's take care of our feet. Oh no, so I grabbed that. I found, oh, look at these. Now these are the self-adhesive removable hooks. I don't use these on my walls, but I absolutely will use it on like my bathroom door that's not painted. Surfaces that don't have paint, I tend to use these on. It's wood grain. I was like, that is so fun. I actually have a sign I wanna hang on the door to my laundry room that says laundry. <laughs> so creative and I needed one of these so now I have one that actually matches the wood grain of my uh, bifold doors going into my laundry room so I grab that two things left yes uh for the boy child stocking I got him some of this arm and hammer it's ultra masks three in one body shampoo conditioner what I wonder if it washes his car hmm and the scent is cool water. So I grabbed that for his stocking. Again, teenage boys, they smell. They can't help it. I have to get them stuff to help with the stinkies. And then the last thing I purchased, I found the fat quarters. These are two of the ones I've been looking for. I'll open this one for you because I'm a little obsessed. It's probably gonna turn into a bag. Um, I'm just trying to get the sticky off. There we go. I love it. It has hedgehogs and little foxes on it and berries and acorns and mushrooms and squirrels. I just love it. So I grabbed two because if I make a bag, I'll need one for the front, one for the back. But that is some fun, fun fabric. So yeah, and it's actually decent quality. I'll wash it first. But I grabbed two and I will make uh, one of, I think one of those chubby totes out of it. I think this is very fall to me, for sure. But whatever, summer, spring, I don't care, I just use it. So that is it, that is everything I got. I hope you enjoy and you're having a fantastic week leading up to Christmas and I will talk with you later.